Hello and good afternoon to our faculty, staff, family, and supporters of our Cristo Rey de la Salle community. We welcome you to our prayer service to mark the end of our school year. The end of the school year means different things to each of us. Some of us will be moving to new places, others to new responsibilities. Whether summer finds us working, resting, spending time with family or friends, or studying, in many ways, it is kind of a late spring, signaling the end of the season and the emergence of something new. Let us take the next few minutes to reflect on the blessings of this school year, to give thanks and to invite our gracious God to continue with us as we journey forth through the changes that summer and the ongoing months will bring. And let us begin as we do in all things with let us remember that we are in the holy presence of God. God, our Father, you provide a bounty for all of your children, and through your Son, you provide for all our needs. As we come to the end of another school year, help us to recognize your generosity in each interaction with another person, in everything we were given and received, in every moment you give us life. Now, during this time of Thanksgiving, may we see you the source of all goodness as our heart. Amen. A reading from the Gospel of Luke. He said to his disciples, Therefore I tell you, do not worry about your life and what you will eat or about your body and what you will wear. For life is more than food and the body more than clothing. Notice the ravens. They do not sow or reap. They have neither storehouse nor barn, yet God feeds them. How much more important are you than birds? Can any of you by worrying add a moment to your lifespan? If even the smallest things are beyond your control, why are you anxious about the rest? Notice how the flowers grow. They do not toil or spin. But I tell you, not even Solomon in all his splendor was dressed like one of them. If God so clothes the grass in the field that grows today and is thrown into the oven tomorrow, will he not much more provide for you, O oh, you of little faith? As for you, do not seek what you are to eat and what you are to drink, and do not worry anymore. All the nations of the world seek for these things, and your Father knows that you need them. Instead, seek his kingdom, and these other things will be given you besides. Do not be afraid any longer, little flock, for your Father is pleased to give you the kingdom. Sell your belongings and give alms. Provide money bags for yourselves that do not wear out. An inexhaustible treasure in heaven that no thief can reach nor moth destroy. For where your treasure is, there also will your heart be. There are many ways God is present in each and every one of our lives, whether it be helping our loved ones, helping us conquer fear, giving us strength, or helping us make good choices. God has helped me succeed this past year by giving me the strength to overcome stressful situations, by giving me the gift of friendship, and by guiding me on the right path to becoming a better person. When times were tough and I felt like everyone and everything was against me, therefore making my success ultimately impossible, God was there. When I felt nervous during my first basketball game, God was there. When I was trying to keep my grades high and I was feeling stressed, God was there. God has always been there to give me that extra push that I needed to continue to be joyful and determined to be the best that I can be. Although my first year in high school was scary, I know that God is always with me and watching over me, 
as I go through life one step at a time on my path to greatness. God will always be there. I am grateful for all the friends I've made, for the very supportive faculty and staff, and for everyone who pushes me to do better. Our school is one of many LaSallean schools worldwide. When I was first asked what it means to be LaSallean, I responded that we simply have to live out the LaSallean core principles. But as I progressed through the year, I realized that it's about being part of a community. We are all here to support each other, share our ideas, and make an impact on the world. The most important thing I took away from attending a LaSallean school this, this year is that we are a family. Let's start back in August of 2019. We welcomed around 80 freshmen to our campus and started the school year off with our opening mass. Since then, we've had four services this school year. Mass is a time for us to gather, reflect, and give thanks to God for all that he's done. A couple of things that we should be grateful for as a school are a supportive staff, a safe environment, amazing corporate partners, caring parents, and the Italian volunteers. And especially, I'd like to say thank you to our educators, our teachers. Thank you for ensuring that even though we can't physically be in the classroom, we're getting the LaSallean, educa LaSallean education that was promised when we said yes to joining the Cristori family. Now let's forward to June 2020. In the midst of a global pandemic, police brutality, a woken world, and many other injustices, we have to pray for a changed world and be grateful for and be grateful that we have advocates in our own community that are fighting for change. You can be the change. God has blessed us so much this year and every year, and for that we must cherish our relationship with Him. God is someone you can talk to on a personal level about any and everything. During this quarantine can be your time to get closer and develop a relationship with God. It's never too late to start. We should also remember our Italian brothers and sisters that had a vision and went through with it. Because of them, we have instilled the five core principles into our school and our lives will be forever changed for the better. When I first arrived in California in August, I didn't know what to expect. I had high hopes for the new school community I was joining, but Little could I have imagined that I would soon become a part of a greater community than I could have ever thought of. Full disclosure into the inner mind of a teacher, we usually don't leave the classroom complaining about students. Rather, I, I did have a few worries. And those worries were something like, was I being too harsh on my students? Was I teaching them everything they needed to know? Was I seeing and loving every person, students and staff alike throughout the day? I can't say that I always succeeded and I'm sure there are many opportunities that I missed. But I know that I've become a part of a greater community, a greater family. And Jesus has granted me many moments where I fortunately did recognize him in each person that I met. This family, this Christo Ray family, will always be with me. Regardless of what I feel, pain or sorrow or joy or happiness, our Christo Ray family will give me strength and patience as I remember everything we've been through this past year. And now, as my own journey parts from the community which I've come to love, I will always continue on the way that Jesus has set out with, for me, with this family whom I've served and love close to my heart in my deepest prayers. We pray in gratitude for our school community and everything we have accomplished this year, that we take pride in all of our success and hard work and that God continues to watch over our school community during the summer break. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For our nation, that during these unsettling times, God brings us together to honor the dignity of every person, fight for justice, and celebrate and respect each other's differences. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. We pray for leaders of our world, leaders of our nation, 
and all people in positions of power, that God guides them to use these leadership roles to respectfully and actively listen to others so that they can make real change in our world. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. We pray for our pastors and church leaders as they pray with and for us. May they have the strength to continue praying, the knowledge that they are not alone, and the wisdom as they continue to serve our community. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For those who are sick, especially those who are suffering from the coronavirus, that God sends his Holy Spirit to comfort them and be by their side during this difficult time. And for those who have died, that they may share an eternal life with God in heaven. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. And now let us conclude our prayer service gathering today with our closing prayer. Let me be the change I want to see, to do with strength and wisdom all that needs to be done, and become the hope that I can be. Set me free from my fears and hesitations. Grant me courage and humility. Fill me with spirit to face the challenge and start the change I long to see. Today, I start the change I want to see. Even if I'm not the light, I can be the spark. In faith, service, and communion, let us start the change we want to see, the change that begins in me. Amen. St. John Baptist de La Salle, pray for us. St. Elizabeth, pray for us. St. Kateri, pray for us. St. Romero, pray for us. And live Jesus in our hearts forever. I'm very pleased to announce that the 2020 Corporate Partner of the Year is the Alameda County District Attorney's Office. Many thanks to Sabrina Farrell, Kevin Dunleavy, Tawanda Lee, Maria Lucan, Elise Sandbach, and of course our District Attorney Nancy O'Malley, as well as our new president, Stephen Murphy. Thank you so much. And special thanks to Cherie Allison, the former Executive Director of the Alameda County Family Justice Center who just retired this year. Congratulations and thank you, Cherie. Hope you enjoy your well-deserved retirement. We're grateful to all of our corporate partners and supervisors for providing our students with such a wonderful experience. But one stood out among the rest this year. From Kaiser Permanente, Rizlan Andrews, you are this year's Supervisor of the Year. Congratulations and thank you. So, ninth grade Mustang Mover and Shakers, you are the future. This year, congratulations go to Talazane Tompkins and Mario Rodriguez. Thank you very much for all your fantastic work this year. Mustang Mover and Shaker of the Year Awards to Yamna Cordoba and Emilio Delgado Lopez. Congratulations. Now I'm very pleased to announce the 2020 Corporate Work Study Program Director's Awards go to Georgina Morales and Raiden Garcia. Now the Corporate Work Study Program Department Awards this year go to Julissa Montano and Jeremiah Knox. Congratulations. And now for our Mustang 18 under 18, top time card readings for each of our students. For the freshmen, Aleda Chavez, Alonso Moncado, Christopher Rodriguez, Amador Silva, Jonathan Soto, Damon Doe, Miguel Pena, Valerie Calles, Silvana Gonzalez, and for the sophomores, Andy Ramos, Alex Robles, Enrique Torres, Jesus Franco, Angel Del Toro, Kat Garcia, Jocelyn Arechiga, Daniel Torres, and Kathy Jimenez. 
Congratulations, top 18 under 18. This award is in honor of Lariat Leong, who created positive social change through grassroots movements to advocate for low-income people of color. This student has demonstrated exemplary leadership in creating a respectful workplace environment. Congratulations, Justin Sanchez. Dolores Huerta became a prominent figure for advocating for women and child laborers during the labor rights movement. In recognition of her tireless efforts in social justice, President Obama presented her with the Presidential Medal of Freedom, the most prestigious civilian award. The recipient of this award has demonstrated a strong passion for incorporating social justice advocacy into their work. Congratulations, Gloria Martin Pablo and Ashby Rivas. Evangelina Viegas has been recognized for making the most important contributions to food security in human history by positively transforming the lives of millions of malnourished children globally. Her creation of the quality protein maize gained widespread recognition and won her the World Food Prize in 2000. The recipient of this award has demonstrated persistence, resilience, and consistency in their work ethic together with a commitment to excellence. Congratulations, Nuvia Alvarez. After joining the racially segregated Langley Memorial Aeronautical Laboratory, Mary broke through gender and racial barriers by becoming NASA's first black female aeronautical engineer and advocating for women in STEM. She has been highly regarded as not only a scientist but as a humanitarian. The recipient of this award has demonstrated resilience despite challenges and continues to redefine the standards of professionalism. Congratulations, Saleya Whitaker. The following students have demonstrated adaptability, professionalism, determination, and persistence in overcoming adversity. Congratulations, Vicki Ortiz, Anthony Brown, Jaden Christie, and Sofia Cruz Baragan. Hello, my name is Ms. Arriola. I am the biology and chemistry teacher at Cristo Rey de la Salle East Bay High School. I am pleased to give the award to excellence and achievement to a student that not only passed all PFAs, but also passed all additional focus areas before the end of the school year. This student with a 100% in biology class is Victor Rodriguez. The Perseverance and Determination Award goes to a student who consistently showed up for office hours, was always willing to stay that extra time to go over concepts, and was never afraid to ask questions. The award goes to Daisy Morales Alvarez. Hi, I'm Jim Fisher, and I serve the Cristo Rey community as an assistant to Ms. Ariola in ninth grade biology and 10th grade chemistry. I'm pleased to give the award for achievement and excellence in 10th grade chemistry to Catherine Jimenez. Catherine has shown some amazing work throughout the school year, always seeing ways to improve. She turned her work in on time, she stayed on track most of the time, and she always challenged herself to do better. The Persistence and Determination Award in 10th grade chemistry goes to Fernando Rosales. Fernando was not only new to our way of teaching, but new to summit. And with heart and determination, she continued to improve day by day until she had accomplished her goal. Congratulations, Catherine and Fernanda. Hi everyone, my name is Ben Segrist and I serve the school community as the English teacher. For diligent writing and a fearless approach to feedback, I'm pleased to give the Perseverance and Determination Award in English 9 to Joshua Edgerly. Your determination to write well in all your projects is well deserving of this award. For a prolific output of both creative and analytical work, 
I am pleased to give the Achievement and Excellence Award in English 9 to Alonso Moncada. Very rarely have I seen a ninth grade student write with such maturity. Congratulations, Alonso. For being a life-giving source of joy in English 10, I am pleased to give the Perseverance and Determination Award to Heriberta Martin Pablo. Thank you for your unshakable positivity and spirit. Finally, for crushing power focus areas early and often, as well as insightful perspective on a variety of issues, I am pleased to give the Achievement and Excellence Award in English 10 to Jasmine Foster. You truly are a self-starter and a powerful thinker. It has been a pleasure to be your teacher. Hello everyone, my name is Mr. Tran and I serve as the Algebra 1 and Geometry teacher uh, here at CRDLS. Um, and I'm pleased to give the Achievement and Excellence Award for Algebra 1 to Victor Flores. Um, I don't have the award physically, but you will be receiving that shortly. Um, and then also for Algebra 1, uh, I am pleased to give the Perseverance and Determination Award to Natalie Nunez. I am pleased to give the Achievement and Excellence Award to Jocelyn Artichiga for Geometry. And I am pleased to give the Perseverance and Determination Award to Mariana Lopez. Good afternoon and greetings to all present today. My name is Christopher Hernandez and I would like to take the opportunity to share the Achievement Awards for Visual and Performing Arts and Health and Wellness. It is my honor to award the Achievement and Excellence in Visual and Performing Arts to two sophomores, Alex Robles and Julian Martinez. Congratulations. <laughs> and for the Achievement and Excellence Awards for Health and Wellness, we have freshman Ruby Ramos, and Amador Silva. Wonderful job this year. Congratulations and thank you for your work this year. Hi there all, this is Roberto Montes, a current Spanish teacher at Crystal Ray de la Salle Vispe High School and I'm pleased to award two students from the sophomore class. The Achievement and Excellence Award to Mr. Emilio Delgado and the Perseverance and Determination Award to Ms. Janelle Award. Thank you to both of you for being super awesome in my class. Hi there all, this is Roberto Montes, the current Spanish teacher at Crystal Ray de la Salle Vispe High School. I am pleased to announce two awards to the freshman class. Natalie Nunez for Achievement and Excellence and Victor Flores for Determination and Perseverance. Both of you guys earned these awards. Thanks for being awesome in my class. Hello and good afternoon. My name is Ms. Garcia and I serve the school community as the Catholic Studies teacher. I am pleased to give the Achievement and Excellence in Catholic Studies 9, the Lasalle Catholic Experience Award to Alonso Moncada. The Perseverance and Determination Award in Catholic Studies 9, the Lasalle Catholic Experience Award goes to Ruby Ramos. Congratulations, you two. I'm also pleased to give the Achievement and Excellence in Catholic Studies 10, Hebrew and Christian Scriptures Award to Angel del Toro. And the Perseverance and Determination Award in Catholic Studies 10 Hebrew and Christian Scripture goes to Catherine Jimenez. Congratulations all. Hi everyone, my name is Michael Cody and I serve as the Social Studies teacher here at Cristo Rey de La Salle. For the study of Ethnic Studies and Civics, I am pleased to award the Achievement and Excellence Award to Mario Rodriguez. 
and the award for perseverance and determination to Esmeralda Valencia Madrigal. And for the study of the modern world, I am pleased to award the Achievement and Excellence Award to Jasmine Foster and the award for perseverance and determination to Mariano Lopez. Congratulations, you all. Hello everyone, this is Ms. Hernandez here to present the recipient of the St. Elizabeth of Hungary Award. This award is given to a student who develops academic excellence and intellectual agency. I am truly honored to present the St. Elizabeth of Hungary Award to Emilio Delgado Lopez. Hi everyone, I'm Mrs. Zeraldo, and I have the pleasure of announcing the St. Oscar Romero Award for contributing to the common good and social justice. The student receiving this award works hard every day to create the kind of world that she would like to see. And for that, we are so proud. Congratulations, Nubia Alvarez. Hello everyone, my name is Ms. J. I'm the Director of Wholeness. And I have the pleasure today of announcing the award in Achievement and Excellence for Leading with Integrity and Respect. This award is named after St. Kateri Tekakwitha, and this award goes to a phenomenal student who embodies the values of integrity and respect in everything that she does and everything that she brings to our community. This award goes to Miss Janila Ward. Congratulations, we're so proud of you and you are such a hugely important part of our community. Hello everybody, my name is Stephen Murphy and I am honored to serve as the president of Crystal Ray De La Salle East Bay High School. I am pleased to announce the award for the St. John Baptiste De La Salle Award and it goes to this year Drum roll, please. Justin Sanchez. Congratulations, Justin. Hi, I'm the new guy in town. My name is Steve Mullen and I'm your Director of Advancement. And today I'm honored to present the award, Faith in the Presence of God, to Yamnan Cordova. And I'm also excited to announce the award for Respect for All Persons, and it goes to Joseline Adachiga. Hi everyone, I'm Miss Valencia. I just want to start off by saying how much I miss you all, and I'm here to proudly announce the La Salle Core Principal Award for Quality Education. This student has demonstrated through their dedication to their academics, thinks critically, and examines our world through the light of faith. This student is, drum roll please, Sandy Morales. Mr. I need a haircut here to present the Inclusive Community Award. Now let me tell you, this is one of the greatest honors of my life being able to present this award. And well, without further ado, the winner of the Inclusive Community Award is Julissa Montana. That's what I'm talking about. Good stuff, good moves. That's that kind of leadership we like to see here. Way to go, congratulations. You can pick up your award at some point later, good job.
And now the award for the student who has shown the most concern for the economically marginalized and social justice, the winner, the captain, the leader, the creator of the cheer squad, Kalia Holmes, congratulations! Like Julissa Montana, you can pick up your award later! Good job! Excellent work! We'll see you in the incoming school year. Peace! Mr. Montes, Thank you so much for all you've done for CRDLS. In the short time that you were part of the community, you impacted our students and our faculty and staff in ways you probably never imagined. Thank you for showing up the way you did for our students, for incorporating social justice and so much more into your language classroom. You got us uh, started on our Spanish program and I'm excited to see it continue to grow. We wish you the best in your future endeavors. Know that you continue to touch the world and the way and the things that you do. Best of luck, you'll be missed. Mr. Sigrist, thank you for your time at CRDLS. In the short time that you were here, you definitely impacted our students and our community. I appreciated your voice in our faculty meetings, in our all hands meetings. You pushed back, you challenged us to be better, to do better for our students. Your voice will be missed. But I'm also really excited for what's ahead of you. Being an administrator at a Jesuit high school, what a true gift. I know that we'll stay in touch and I am confident that you'll be sharing some of those resources with our community. Know that the doors are open and we hope that you continue to visit so that you can see the fruit of your work blossom. Wishing you the best. We will miss you. Thank you, Ms. Jackson, for all you've done for the Cristo Rey Mustangs. We miss you, Ashley, and please do come visit us. I also take the time now to say thank you to our beloved LaSallian volunteers. Mr. Ben Peters, Thank you for being our Ben of all trades. From the massive archiving project to the setup of our St. Elizabeth Legacy Room, to preparing morning prayers and altar serving at Mass, from building relationships in the lunchroom and picking up our students from work, you served our community with distinction. As you take leave of our community to follow God's call as a priest, may you always know that you have a home here at Cristo Rey de la Salle. Mrs. Isabella Virgin, thank you for all that you have done for our community this year. From starting the Caught Being Nice program to organizing our first ever school-wide service day, from chaperoning students to work and helping to organize pep rallies, to filling in for Miss Ariola as our biology teacher, you truly helped us out in a myriad of ways. And you did all this with a loving and caring heart. You know that you will not be far away as you study for a degree in counseling psychology at St. Mary's College in Moraga in the fall. May God bless you both abundantly, Ben and Bella, and thank you for your service to the LaSallian mission. My fellow Mustangs, we come now to the conclusion of our academic year, and this year will be one for the history books. Yet through all the triumphs and trials, you have remained dedicated and determined. The academic work that you completed and the workplace experiences that you gained this year has equipped you with more analytical, social, and political tools that will help you to shape your future. Our world is constantly changing. Every day may bring a new obstacle, but every day also brings a ray of hope. In spite of the hardships that we currently face, know that every time you've logged in with your Chromebook, every time that you've checked your email, and every time you submitted a project, you took a step forward toward graduation. Keep sight of your goals and hang on to your dreams. Your goals and dreams make hope a reality in this world and will be an antidote of healing in a fractured world full of hurt. 
We know not what the future may hold, but we take comfort in knowing that we have our family and friends, we have our Cristo Rey del Sal school community and our education, and we have an ever-loving and ever-living God who guides us gently through the celebrations and the challenges of life. And no matter our station in life, know that it is still a good life and that we have a real reason for existence. Our job is to realize who we are called to be. And so I leave you with one last Trinidad's Tips for Teens to end the school year. Keep exploring, keep dreaming, keep asking why. Don't settle for what you already know. Never stop believing in the power of your ideas, your imagination, and your hard work to change this world. And that was a quotation by President Barack Obama. Have a safe summer. We'll see you in the fall. Live Jesus in our hearts forever. <laughs>